All right, welcome to this quick empty showcase tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to add content hotspots onto image viewers in your menus. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our little test app. So I'm in the showcase editor. I'm gonna go to the structures for my app. And it's a simple little app, nothing really much going on except I have a finger menu here. And this is where we're gonna add this image viewer widget. So if I go to my content sets, I can go into my content set, which I've named test. And uh, I've went ahead and uh, added some little PDFs in here. If I start showcase, we could take a look and see what that looks like. It's just a gray background because I don't have anything in the background and a finger menu with some different PDFs in there. Nothing great, but it doesn't matter. We're just kind of showing the concept here. So what I want to do is to be able to add an image viewer that I can put a content hotspot on. Um, this could give the sense of an interactive PDF or a hot link within an image viewer. So what I want to do is select the folder of my content set and hit add. Uh, and what I want to do is add a widget. Basically, we're going to create an image viewer widget specifically with content hotspots on it. So we're going to call this showcase content hotspot image. So this is the name of our widget in the content set. We'll hit save at the bottom. And then in widget, we're going to create a new widget. It's going to be an image viewer, but we're going to name this very specifically image viewer with hotspot. Okay, so we save that. Now we're going to go and edit it. So we have an image viewer, and what I've done is I've created a little image for us. I just took a screenshot of the MT Showcase Editor Manual. This is what it looks like. Basically what I want to do is just add a content hotspot around the multi-taction logo that will link to the multi-taction website. So I've already gone and added that image viewer into our media library. You can see it here. So I'm going to go down to the image viewer attributes and drag this into the image file so that this is now in our content set. So if I open up Showcase, I now have that Showcase Content Hotspot Image Viewer in here. So let's exit out of here. Uh, but now that I created it with that custom widget type, I can add image attachments. So the image attachment that I want to add is a Content Hotspot. So we have another tutorial to go more in depth about Content Hotspots. Um, but what I want to do is be able to create an invisible hotspot over an existing part of that widget. Normally you would add a visualization widget to your content hotspot that will be like the button of what you're seeing that's pressable for this content hotspot. But we want to just be able to touch something that's already on that image viewer. Um, so what we're going to do actually is we're going to use some of the content hotspot attributes to be able to visualize where this clickable portion is. Um, in the content hotspot attributes, there is a background color here, which de by default is just clear. Um, what I want to do is give this content hotspot a color so that we can see it. So I'm going to drag up the color a little bit and I'm going to make it red so it's nice and visible. Using this RGB selector, if I drag it over to the right here, you can see that we're selecting a red color and I just want to make it kind of transparent so we can see it there. If you want to copy these RGBA values, you can. So let's go into Showcase and see what that looks like. So now on our cont content hotspot image, there's a little red box and that's visualizing the clickable area of our content hotspot. So what I want to do is try and adjust the, the location. I want to try and adjust the location and size of this content hotspot so it's just over our multi-taction logo because that's going to be the clickable area. So I kind of have an idea of about what size I need. Uh, let's start with 
maybe 40 pixels in the X for location and 10 pixels in the Y and we'll go with a 120 pixels in the X for size and then we'll go for 60 pixels in Y. So let's open up Showcase and see how this works. Alright, so if we open up the Content Hotspot image, you can see that we have, we're pretty close here. I think I might want to add 20 pixels into our total length and maybe subtract 10 pixels from the height. So let's add 20 pixels to the length, 40. It's going to be a little bit of a process of uh, <clears throat> trial and error to get this size right. So let's open up Showcase again. And we'll add 5 pixels. And subtract, add 5 pixels to the height and subtract 10 pixels from the length. And we'll just call that uh, good. So 55 pixels. Okay, so now that we've got our content hotspot the right size, we want to tell it what to launch. So, um, in the widgets launched from the hotspot around tap location, I want to launch a web browser. And you can have this open whatever you want, any other kind of widgets that are selectable there. But in the URL here, I'm just going to add www.multitaction.com. Save. And now, when I open up Showcase, you can see the Content Hotspot still has that red visualizer, but when I click it, it opens up a web browser to my specified URL. Now, all I have to do is just remove that background. I'm just going to go into the RGBA editor and drag the opacity all the, all the way down, or the alpha to make it completely transparent. Now, when we open up our image viewer, I have a nice clickable area on the multi-taction logo that opens up my website. And you can use this for just about anything. You can basically create hot links within you know, an image viewer or on a map or uh, any number of uh, ways you can utilize this feature. For other information, feel free to go to the MT Showcase Editor Manual or contact support, support at multitaction.com. Thanks and have a great day.